Auburn area. That place is practically deserted nowadays. Probably not a coincidence. Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy, and welcome back to Fear. Now, we are still in pursuit of Paxton Fettel through the wastewater treatment plant, but as we just heard from the laptop, the contamination which we've heard about from another laptop earlier originated in the Auburn area. Now, the Auburn area was the first level, the first tutorial level, where Paxton Fettel overcame us with a wooden plank. That may explain what he was doing there, investigating the source of the contamination. Because he did find a target there, which presumably got something from, he got information from. More bad guys. Look at the way that blood shows up in there. That could just be a visual glitch or it could be a stylistic option. How it shines above all the other colours. Bad guys. Must take him by surprise. <laughs> that is what happens when you feed a soldier a grenade. I was not expecting that. When you're dealing with large groups of enemies such as this, shotgun is a very effective weapon. Despite all their levels of discipline, the sheer force of it usually makes them scatter. Like so. Somebody fires a shotgun at me, I panic. Round the corner. But all we need is one good shot on him. What a cinematic death that was. You notice the way that I knew that there were enemies around simply by them communicating loudly on the radio. Apparently, the idea to try to take me by stealth has not yet occurred to them. My med pack capacity was full there, so I, I simply used one, got myself to full health, and took the other one. An open area for combat. Get that grenade! Though fairly easy to do in slow motion, shooting a grenade whilst it's flying through the air is an intensely satisfying thing to do. Especially when it blows up its, its dispatcher, the person who threw it. Still being shot at? I want to get a better handle on where they are and make sure they don't flank me going downstairs. I see a new type of gun. An ASP rifle. The main difference with this gun is it has a scope. Picked up body armor there. Testing. Powerful, accurate. Asp rifle. Order now. If we can, get the jump on them before they even have a chance to equip their weapon. With the influx of enemies present, it's better that we maintain the high ground. Huh. Hmm. 
seems for once the enemy seeks to elude me. The music indicates that they're still around, but for the life of me I can't find them. There he is. Not quite it. Caught on a bad reload. Oof. It's often faster to change weapons than to finish a reload. In that situation, I was lucky that the man came down to the bottom level with me. They appear to have cleared the area. But there are more bad guys ahead. Hmm. They don't seem to know where I am. Improper communication, people. But I don't know where they are either. They've seen me. There's one. Oh my. It caused quite a stir with that. A gun so powerful it decapitates enemies. Oh dear. This gun is immensely powerful. Unfortunately, I'm running low on ammo for it. In fact, I'm out of ammo for it, so I switch back to this gun. There's his head. <laughs> Not a mark of respect there. No? Oh, we remember him! Using two med packs there at once. At that moment, it was just important that we get back into cover. We've lost him. There he is. Last time we had the drop on him, we had a decent bit of cover, we had him within shotgun range, he was, if nothing scary, but easy to take out, and this time, he's got the high ground. Look at the way he's just blending in there, like he's a part of the scenery. Behold the importance of a well-placed grenade. certainly did. Oh, hi. Slow motion isn't just for gaining headshots on the enemy. It can also be used in situations like that to pick up a weapon with maybe slightly more ammo. First aid kit, always important. Always remember to search every nook and cranny. You never know where Paxton Fettel could be hiding. And I'd feel like a great fool if I walked past the room he was in just because I didn't think he'd be under the boxes. Looks like they're planning on extracting me. Armachem headquarters, where the battle is at, where Svodida forces have already, um, have already been dispatched to. 
But as far as we know, Fettel's still here. And still, if we kill Fettel, we do contain the whole situation. The threat dies. So I'm not entirely sure why they're planning on extracting me at the moment. Maybe they figure Fettel's about to withdraw with the rest of his forces. That would make sense. Speaking of his forces, we've talked a bit about the victims and how we're trying to stop any more innocent civilians from dying, but I feel as if the clones, the army of clones which I've been fighting, are victims in their own fashion as well. They're only under control of Fettel. I mean, they didn't want to do this, they didn't particularly want anything, but they still feel pain, clearly, screaming all the time. There he is. And he is leaving. We've quite simply got to get out there. But first we're going to stop for supplies. <laughs> as important as it is as we need to get out there, it's more important to be prepared. Oh, of course. There it goes. Back to square one. And I am duly pissed. Right. The melee system in this game is a little bit iffy sometimes. But I'm running low on ammo. I'm in a slightly vulnerable position. My only chance at maintaining any control of the situation is to keep them from coming around the sites. It's my attempts to get slightly closer to the heavy. And unfortunately, I died. Break the window, out we pop, and we're going to approach this situation a bit more carefully this time. I was angry because I fell got away from me. This time... We start things on my terms. Oh, a little bit early for me. Old place Melly, that guy had a shotgun. If he'd gotten a shot off on me there, that would have been very dangerous. And go! One enemy at a time, we remember this tactic. Whittle them down. The only problem is that heavy out there. Could easily take me all by himself if he gets me in the right position. No good shooting at him from over there. Must maintain a better position on him. Must gain a better position on him. Oh, get that guy before he has a chance to shoot. Him as well. Even to the heavy, the shotgun still provides a lot of cover. It makes him flinch. It makes anybody flinch. Before that man can flank me, let's get him out of the picture. Oh, make your way around the corner. I'm in a very vulnerable position right now. Luckily, I remember this time that I have med packs. Waiting for my slow motion mm. to recharge. Out of ammo for the rifle, luckily. An enemy has wandered within shotgun range. It's like poor tactical maneuver there. Now hopefully the heavy mech is coming around the corner so that we are able to. Oh. 
LZ is clear. Fifth will go to wait for us. He will have a whole new retinue of clones between me and him again. Back to square one, quite literally. But we must keep going. We must keep hunting.